Hey, and welcome to Twin Time Adventures, Adventures. where we always have twice, twice the, the fun. fun. For sure. Tonight we have a really exciting cooking class for you. We are going to make a beefalo. And to explain what that is, we have, we're, well, we're here at the Robertson Ranch, first of all. Robertson. <laughs> I N, not E R. Okay, so we are here at the Robinson Ranch to make beefalo. And Lee Robinson is going to explain what that is. Well, beefalo is a hybrid between the American bison and the typical beef cattle. And what they do is they take a male bison or commonly known as a buffalo right. and they breed it with a cow and they let the gestation occur for about 285 days and what that does is it gives rise to a calf that then grows interesting the meat is leaner and more hearty than regular beef Love so cool. we are getting ready to cook it and we're going to cook it medium rare and but the, we would steak that we yeah because we enjoy steak medium rare right exactly. which is approximately 135 degrees internal temperature mm -hmm. and because meat rises in temperature even after you take it out of the pan mm -hmm. or out of the oven we'll be taking it out about 130 degrees because it'll increase by about five degrees. And these beautiful okay. women over here are gonna show you how it's done. Oh boy. So Kathy, let's, here we go. let's show them what it looks okay. like. So First we have these all, three pieces that we bought at Market of Choice in Bend. In Bend. It looks they look beautiful. like regular steaks. Mm -hmm. And we're going to season them with just some uh, kosher that? salt and pepper on all, both sides. I think that I simpler, washed my hands. I promise. The simpler stuff you do on meat, the better. We want to taste the beef. Exactly. Right? Taste the meat. Or the beefalo, as the it beefalo. might be. Beefalo. Exactly. Uh, Carla, while I'm doing this, do you want to heat, heat up your pan? You bet. So we're going to put a little butter and olive oil into our okay. cast iron. Let it get hot first. Pan. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yum. Very so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And our pepper. Totally. Yeah, this is going to be so good. And you want both butter and oil? I think so. Yeah, a little bit of both. And then we'll put it down with that and then we'll salt and pepper it on the other side. And once yeah, it's on there, to sizzle a little more. For sure. Okay, so our butter and olive oil. Okay, we're okay, starting our... to sizzle up. It's always good to have a nice hot pan. Perfect. And a hot pan. Yes. Cast iron is always, always preferred. the best. So good. For sure. Yes. Okay, here we go. Let's see if they sizzle. Here, here we go. Sizzle. Yep. Oh, yeah. Perfect. This medium, a little like between medium and high because, mm -hmm. like I said, this stove cooks really hot. Right. So we're going to cook it for a little bit here and then we'll flip them over and put the, and then the thermometer, thermometer in to get them to 130 degrees. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, it's sizzling. Just right. Hot. Yeah. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Life oh is my good. Gosh. Life oh. is good here on the ranch. Totally. Oh, always have a good time. Always so have fun. For sure. 2023. The year of fun. Yes. Do something fun every, every day. Every day. Come up with something fun. That's okay. what we do. And a lot of our fun is in the kitchen. Totally. Trying new things. Can you believe that? The beefalo? I know. Beefalo. Never heard of it. It's so funny. It is. Beefalo. Beefalo. Can't Even wait. Can't beefalo. wait to taste it. Even sounds fun. It, it does. does. It does. Beefalo, totally. beefalo, beefalo, beefalo. <laughs> wait. Wrong commercial. No, wrong one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
think that was Ricola. Ricola. Oh, I couldn't think of what it was when I said that earlier. Ricola, Ricola. Oh, All right, big man, tell me when I should flip these. Oh, it's going to be right. Okay. So they're, pretty, they're about an inch thick. Right. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit to. Okay. That, that looks really good. Fun. And it smells good. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Beefalo. Is this the side that has the salt and pepper on it? Correct. That we're looking at. I haven't put salt and pepper on this side yet. No, we might want to I'll do that. I'll go ahead and do that now. All right. Mm -hmm. so now we're going to salt and pepper the other side. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. there we go. This way, love it. Mm -hmm. Too much salt, on it. Not too much. Well, you think? we've salted the other side. So yes. Yeah. Sprinkle a little bit on there. Okay. And some pepper. Pepper. Yeah, pepper is really good. We should play some music that has to do with where the buffalo oh. on the rain roll. Oh, the rain. <laughs> I want to check that on the side, make sure it's not getting too brown. What does this pump are longer? Oh no, they need to be turned. They okay, now it's trying to heat down. Yeah. Oh, that so way. Down. Way down. That way? There yeah, you go. you're going okay. the right way. And yeah. now, Kathy doesn't have her glasses on. I know. We're going to try the thermometer in. The thickest and the best way is you want to slide it in and not the touch the pan. And not touch the pan. Well, make sure you're not burning the other side. Right. And now, you can pick, pick, up, pick, pick up the middle one. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's good. All right. Cool. Now that's the small one. Yep. Yeah. It's almost ready. Okay. Right. Yeah. It's like something. It's 102. Not to be long. Totally. It goes fast. But the meat thermometer is the best invention ever. Totally. The cat, we use it all up. the time. Yeah. That's not right. Adventures, where we always have twice, twice the fun. fun. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.